Hey, how's it going everybody? Adrian here with Race Car Life. It's been quite a long time. A lot has changed. GTR is gone. I had an R8. Uh, more to come on that as I never actually filmed anything with it and I just sold it. Um, but what's really exciting is we are actually getting first delivery today of our Lamborghini Huracan. It feels very, very weird to say that out loud. I never thought I'd be picking up a Lamborghini, but cheapest Lamborghini in the world, kind of. There's a caveat. We're gonna show you right now. It's the cheapest, but it's not the cheapest. I'm gonna show you, uh, but I'm extremely excited. It should be getting off the truck in about 10, 15 minutes. Uh, just got a text from the delivery driver, so beyond excited. Guys, I really hope to uh, make a lot of content coming up uh, with this car, uh, so we're gonna do a lot of changes to it, but the main thing is completely done. I'm gonna show you exactly what it is in just a second. And here we are, she has arrived. Wow, that lighting is absolutely awful, but I am so excited. This is actually my first time ever getting like a remote delivery. I've always picked up my cars, drove them back. I was planning on driving this thing from Mississippi down to California, that's where I am, but just due to a couple other things, I couldn't make it. But uh, all the way from Mississippi, M&M Transportation, thank you very much, let's see what goes on behind these closed doors. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, we got a couple other beauties in here. Looks like an M4, yep, M4 getting delivered. Maybe a, a Hellcat or maybe just an RT, I actually can't tell there. Uh, we got a classic up here, look at that. Oh, she's a beauty, all oh, sitting right next to the Huracan. Oh, that just sounds mean. I have no idea whether or not the camera is picking this up. I'm pretty sure that is a 66 Mustang. I'm not sure, I'm not a classic guy. If you are, please don't hate me if I got that wrong. She's a little oily on bottom, but overall not too bad. I mean, it's definitely not like collector's edition, but it's really clean. Still seems like it's running all right. It's quiet. I actually expected it to be a little louder. It's probably stock, to be honest. But pretty, pretty cool. The things that get transported with you. You can definitely tell I don't vlog because the camera quality, terrible. Everything's like really washed out and like really, really extra white. I have no idea how to change this. Hopefully I can figure it out in editing. If not, I'll figure it out later. Cold start, 2016 Lamborghini Huracan. Let's see what this sounds like. This is my first time hearing it in person. Oh my God, I cannot tell you how excited I am right now. real quick see if we can get the uh, under carriage there a little bit see what it looks like pretty exciting you can see it coming over oh a couple of those front end scrapes oh man no problem oh yeah I forgot you can't see anything on the bottom of these cars they're all covered in plastic a couple of front end uh, bumper scrapes, whatever. I'm gonna put a bunch of miles on this thing anyway. I'm probably gonna get it way worse than that. So, uh, it's all good to me. Front end lift, totally lifted up. Looks crazy because I'm pretty sure it's way lower. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell on that back end is slammed. Make sure my the exhaust tip doesn't hit on there. Oh, she is looking so good, sounding good. Oh my God, she's officially landed! Wow, cannot explain. 
the emotions that are going through my head right now. Look at this, holy crap. What I did not realize is it would be coming with no plates and in Southern California they are so strict about having no plates. I have no idea when I can actually drive this thing. I gotta go pay taxes on it, all that kind of good stuff, which I'm definitely gonna document pricing um, of how much that's gonna cost me, all that crazy stuff, but uh, super excited. We'll hop in in just a minute. I actually gotta pay for the transportation. Um, so I'll be back in two seconds. I had to get out of the way right away because there was uh, quite a bit of traffic but uh, first drive in the Lamborghini Huracan. Pretty insane. Oh man, that is a special sound. Man, this is insane. It's way louder on the inside than the R8 was, uh, which is kind of nice actually. I like hearing it, but uh, Awkward part about all of this is um, I gotta get back to work. I actually literally took a couple hours off in the middle of the day just because that's when the truck was gonna arrive. Um, unfortunately, yeah, I, I work every day. So I gotta get back to work. Um, driving this thing is insane right now. Like this feels so weird. Um, there's pretty awesome, that's not stock. So I'll go over that later this evening once I get back home. Um, I probably already messed something up as it is, so uh, pretty exciting though. I have no idea how long, again, I'm gonna be able to drive this thing because it's tuned on 93 octane. We don't have 93 in California. All we get is 91, it's terrible. So I'm hoping if I put just a little bit of 91, it's not gonna make too big a difference. I gotta get it tuned ASAP though. Um, that's definitely the first thing, but for the very first time, um, you know, personally, in a Lamborghini, I am just blown away. Don't even know what to say. Uh, never actually thought that this would be possible. So um, very excited to kind of share what's gonna end up happening later on. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get back to work and um, I will be back in just a, a uh, little bit. And we are back. I just got out of work. I am heading home now. Obviously, Southern California, five o'clock rush hour, right? Never fails, never fails. Stuck in automatic mode and uh, can't do anything about it, uh, but that's okay. So, uh, definitely gonna explain in just a second uh, how this is both the cheapest and not the cheapest uh, Huracan in the world. Um, awesome thing is it was built, keyword built, very well. Um, zero issues um, that I've been driving it. I drove it about mm, 10 miles to work, 10 miles back. Uh, so not, nothing too crazy, but um, really exciting plans for this car. I actually want to take this thing to 100,000 miles, just like the GTR. That was the plan for the R8. Uh, got it during COVID, got a good deal on it, all that kind of good stuff. Um, I drove it a lot actually, I got it at 26,000 miles, sold it at 44,000 miles, um, but I just didn't go a whole lot of different places other than just daily driving it. There was not a whole lot to vlog and it's kind of weird with COVID and just started and all that kind of stuff. So I haven't really made a video in a long time, but um, I definitely want to take this car. Now this car is a little bit high miles for a Huracan, for a Lamborghini, right? It's high miles. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, there we go. 29,841. So it's sitting at 29,841, almost 30,000 miles. That is stupid high for a Lambo. You guys, you see them on sale for like 5,000 miles, 4,000 miles, 10,000 miles, right? Um, obviously they're bulletproof, right? Huracans, just like my R8, bulletproof, right? I had the Gen 2, I had the 2017, um, no issues, right? You've seen a couple of people sell Huracans at over 100,000 miles. So I'm not worried about it, but mine is a little different as to why I might be a little worried. Oh, I don't know why my camera's blurring. There we go. Yeah, mine is a little different as to why I might be a little worried whether or not I can make it to 100K miles. So again, that is the goal. If you are interested in subscribing to my channel, um, the goal is to take a Huracan to 100K miles and document the experience, document the costs, real costs, right? From a real person uh, that apparently 
unfortunately, has to work for everything, right? I'm not rich. Um, I don't, uh, you know, have a huge bank account where I can buy this in cash and all that kind of stuff. I am financing it, um, you know, which is better because my liquid money is better off somewhere else anyway. But real person, real costs. Be more than happy to go over everything with you guys. Next video, we're going to be uh, paying the insurance on it. Wow, this thing cannot focus. There we go, uh, having some technical difficulties. So uh, next video, we're gonna be going and paying the tags on it. Taxes and registration in Southern California is ridiculous. I do live in like an okay area where the taxes um, are about 7.75 instead of like the 10.5 in LA County. So that's kind of nice. Um, but yeah, I'll be going over that. Um, and yeah, just kind of adventure on if I can take this thing to 100K miles reliably without completely breaking the bank. So that's what's in store for this car. Um, if you are interested, please like and subscribe. It's going to be pretty cool. Um, but I'm not a uh, extremely well-versed vlogger, YouTuber. I don't know how to edit videos. And even worse, um, I don't know how often I can upload. Um, again, I work full-time. And then I have a side business on the side. So when I'm not working, I'm working. That's the kind of deal. Um, but I will try to upload as consistently as possible. We'll do mileage check-ins. Uh, you know, if anything went wrong, that kind of stuff. Um, and then mileage check-ins regardless. But uh, I'm gonna finish driving home and I will show you guys what I'm talking about regarding uh, the modifications that are currently done on this car. It's pretty nice. Oh my God. I don't know if you guys can hear this or not, but it, this thing is a this thing is insane. Oh my God. I hope you guys can hear that. Wow. You guys can hear that. That's a little bit of a hint as to what's coming. Let's see if uh, we can do it again here, real quick. Downshifts, sec third, second. Wow! Wow! I really hope you can hear the way the whistle comes on. Oh my gosh, this thing is ridiculous. Who gave me the keys to one of these? Good lord! Okay, so we're gonna walk right over to the back. By the way, I really just drove on Southern California roads. Literally no back plate. That's terrifying. So I'm gonna head over and get some dealer plates through my company real quick because we're not gonna drive it anymore until I get some plates on there because I'm just asking for trouble at this point. But here's the real exciting part. I don't know if you could already see them peeking through. I'm gonna open this up, ooh, it's hot. It is hot back there. And here we go, CFI Designs Twin Turbo Kit. I don't know if you guys could hear that whistling um, of the turbos. As soon as you get on the throttle, it starts whistling stupid loud. Um, those downshifts, you can hear the blow off valve. It is ridiculous. So this is gonna be rear wheel drive, right? It's rear wheel drive around eight to 900 rear wheel horsepower, okay? That's a guesstimation, it hasn't been put on a dyno yet, which I'm going to do, absolutely. Um, scary part is, again, I don't know if I mentioned it already, we need to down tune it to 91, it's on 93 octane. Southern California doesn't have 93 octane. I'm gonna put a little bit of 91 in it uh, and hopefully run it just for a little bit and not blow something up, but we're gonna tune it immediately. Um, just, da again, down to 91, um, but yeah, Twin Turbo CFI Designs Kit. Um, and that is why I said it was the cheapest Huracan. It was the cheapest Twin Turbo Huracan currently in this market. It was not the cheapest Huracan, mind you. There's some like 60,000 mile Huracans that are really cheap right now, but cheapest Twin Turbo Huracan. Um, and I am beyond thrilled uh, to go to start making videos on this. Again, something I never actually thought I'd own. Um, so I just thought, hey, let me document costs. Let me see how reliable this thing really is, especially when you throw turbos on it. That is the big kicker there. Um, and kind of make a couple of videos with that. I think it'd be pretty cool, especially in SoCal. We're gonna have lots of cool events coming up summertime. Um, so definitely, again, subscribe if you wanna see more of this Twin Turbo Huracan CFI designs. I'm gonna go over how reliable they are just by simply driving it nonstop through the summer heat, everything. I'm not gonna be scared. We're just gonna send it. Uh, rear wheel drive, I'm a little scared of. My R8 was all wheel drive, which was super easy to drive, right? Anybody can have confidence driving an all wheel drive R8. Just push the pedal to the floor. 
thing drives itself, it's awesome. Um, but this, not so much. I got about 70% throttle and the whole thing started spinning and I got really scared. So uh, we're gonna be careful. But uh, this is what it is, super excited. Hope you guys are gonna be uh, enjoying seeing what's up coming to it. Um, any questions about the car, please feel free to let me know. Um, but we'll definitely have story time regarding the GTR and the RE later on. Uh, but uh, yeah, here's a couple little uh, walk around of what it is and uh, see you guys later.